everyone, I'm Taping Hui. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Have you ever felt super tired after a drive? Somehow uncomfortable? Or wondered, what exactly should you do if the car ahead of you suddenly slammed its brakes? We all know that everyone drives differently, and there are people who drive like this. Or this. Alright, I know that some of you actually drive like that. Believe it or not, just the way you sit could make a difference between you being able to maneuver quickly to respond to an emergency situation and staying alive or risking serious injuries or even death. So today will be the first in a series of videos where I will share with you my experiences driving on different racetracks around the world and the precious lessons that I've learned from some of the best pro driving instructors. And with the video, you will learn the knowledge and skills to become a better, safer, and more defensive driver. Who knows? One day, it might uh, save your life. And more importantly, save the lives of your loved ones. Now, when it comes to good driving, the number one fundamental is your driving position. And when we talk about that, there are a few key things to consider. Number one, your sitting distance from the dashboard. The distance that you are from the dashboard should be positioned such that the knees are slightly bent even when depressing the brakes fully because in event of a frontal collision, bended knees would cushion the impact, thus saving your legs. If you are seated too far back, your knees will lock up when you do an e-brake. In the event of a frontal collision, your joints will get all the impact and they would have a very high chance of breaking. Number two. The inclination of your seat would determine how far your body would be from the steering wheel and that would affect your arm position. If your elbows are locked, your arms would literally be limited when you try to avoid an accident. Not only will you not be able to move fast enough to steer away from danger, in the event of a collision like the locked knees, the impact will likely cause injuries to your elbows and shoulders. So the ideal position would be for your arms to be bent and in a relaxed position. You will be able to steer freely and your arms would not obstruct each other when you try to do an invasive maneuver. So a good way would be, with your shoulders against the back of the seat, adjust it to a point where your wrist can hang comfortably over the steering wheel. Number 3. The height of the steering wheel. Using your wrist as an initial guide, adjust the height of the steering wheel to a point where the cockpit is clearly visible. After that, our hands should be placed at the 3 and 9 o'clock position. This allows us to have a maximum range of motion when turning the wheel. Number 4. The height of the headrest. Many people have the impression that the headrest is for us to, well, rest our heads and relax when we drive. Yes, that's true. But the actual function of the headrest is actually to protect our necks from whiplash if our car gets hit from behind. When we suffer a real impact, our heads would snap backwards forcefully. If there is nothing to stop the sudden movement, we risk serious injuries to our neck. So the way to set it will be to adjust the height of your headrest until it is in line with the top of your head. In that way, it will deploy and cushion your head in the event of a rear collision. I believe no matter what kind of driver you are, this video can help all of us become safer drivers. So remember to click on the like button and subscribe to my channel and you will be the first ones to be notified of my coolest and newest videos. So until next time, please remember, Safe driving is not only for us, but also for those we love. Cheers.